put your smartphone in motion with this two-axis auto-tracking holder. It might be your new favorite AI-based camera operator. Good enough to hire? Let's inspect! Hello, how are you doing today? I, I hope everything is fine and... Uh, by the way, nice to meet you, Michael. My name, what we do on the channel is to inspect fresh and cool tech and I so much enjoy these simple gadgets which are not that smart but with a very smart idea behind them. So this here is an AI-based smartphone holder. Well, you, you just place your smartphone here. There's a microscopic camera on the front which is supposed to be tracking you and pointing the smartphone towards you. And this is how the whole filming experience happens. And it's pretty smart because you don't need extra expensive gear or an operator to be tracking you all the time. So it's perfect fit for people who are very often on phone calls and doing uh, presentations or maybe dance classes online, etc, etc. It's coming from the company Hoem. It's called the Hoem Go. And in this episode, I'll tell you everything that matters about it. Hoem Tech are mostly famous for their extremely affordable gimbals and here they seem to partially leverage the know-how about tracking objects and good motor responsiveness. The launch price is in my opinion attractive enough and maybe if you're looking for decent camera quality it can be the sole needed shortcut to utilize your current mobile phone as opposed to investing in expensive mirrorless cameras with gimbals or other high-end webcams. Unpacking won't take that much time, but I can confirm that the Hoem Go comes in style, just like the Ice Steady Gimbal series. Key highlights are stamped on the box. Before taking the holder out of it, you may read the very short tutorial, which pretty much represents everything that you need to know about the Hoem Go and the setup. I guess this is going to help us to shorten the section in the video where I covered the startup procedures, because that's all you need to do. Here is the Hoem Go device. Its shape reminds me of something and during the whole time I keep on wondering which character it reminds me of. Maybe one of the brawlers included in the game Bro Stars. Or if you have a better idea, please do comment below. Not too much to check about the availability of ports and similar. At the bottom there is a quarter inch mount for tripods. This on the front is LED and the power button, the camera for recognizing the gestures and this knob which tightens your device. A smartphone or a tablet. If you wonder why Hoem Go is somewhat bulky, maybe because they wanted to make it stable even if you install a big tablet. The tech specs confirm the plastic design of the body. There are two motors covering two axes of movement. An inbuilt 2000 mAh battery, which allows operation times between 7 and 10 hours. Camera range is up to 360 degrees for panning and has a 30 degree coverage when tilting, 90 by 93 mm size and weight of around 300 grams. There's not much to say about the specifications because, besides the obvious, uh, you don't really need to care about anything else. Uh, we talked about the thread at the bottom. Very easy to attach to a tripod, like that. There's an inbuilt battery on the inside, 2000 mAh, which would give you around 7 hours of tracking time. Good news is that you can plug in here a, a, a Type-C port and the other end to a power bank and that's going to make it to kind of an always-on tracking solution. Uh, in terms of operation, it's super simple because all you have to do is to press and hold this button here on the front for three seconds then it's going to be operation ready and if you want it to start tracking you uh you, you gotta make this gesture right and then it starts tracking you and if you want to stop just leave the palm i've tried the most commonly used scenarios with a smartphone or a tablet you know that the bigger the screen the better visibility you get I wish something similar exists for mirrorless cameras because this is always the problem that I get with the Sony a7C and its rather small display. Honestly, I think TikTokers are going to benefit from this device the most because Hoem Go is perfect for filming in this aspect ratio. Sure, the traditional wide orientation works fine too, no matter use with a smartphone or a tablet. I've also tested the angles of operation and indeed they work as advertised. My guess is that tilting can go way beyond the advertised 15 degrees, but this seems to be limited on a hardware level in order to keep the unit steady enough. Because nobody would like to see the big tablet falling down and getting the screen cracked, right? I think I mentioned already, no smartphone app, 
no Bluetooth, this device is about the basics. So the filming is entirely done from within your smartphone's preferred camera app. Did I discover any drawbacks? Not much, especially if you're alright with the lack of smartphone controls or whatsoever. I also missed the option for firmware updates via the USB port, but since I discovered no issues about the algorithms, this might not be needed at all. So, in the end, uh, if you wonder whether you should buy this device or not, I guess the right question would be do you really need this device or not, because apparently it resembles functions that are already mastered by other types of technology, although this other type of technology is a lot more expensive. But if you're bleeding dancing glasses or you're a presenter who needs to move in the room all the time and needs to get tracked, or if you participate in a lot of online meetings which are rather interactive, this could be a great addition allowing you to simplify things and also being on a budget. I guess uh, the, the only imperfection is that especially if you're leading dancing classes and you do this movement, it's gonna stop tracking you. Therefore, I don't know, maybe Hoim could think about adding a hardware switch <laughs> disabling the AI capabilities. But even as it is, I really like it because you don't need any Bluetooth connection or complex smartphone apps. It just works on the go and doesn't require any preparation about setup. So that's been everything about today's episode. Hopefully useful in case you have questions or you want to tell me how you feel about this weird looking buddy. Comments are down below the video. As usual, more information about the product and ways to support the channel in case you want to are listed in the video description area. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. I'm Michael, being such a pleasure and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.